In the second video, I'm going to show you how to start up Mascotly. Depending on your default browser, all you'll need to do is double click on the index folder and it will open up Mascotly for you. Alternatively, you can, sorry, you can drag the index folder into Firefox and that is how it will open up. However, if you're using Chrome as your default browser, they will have to be a slight modification that you'll need to do. And I'll show you now. All you need to do is first close down all of your Chrome browsers. Then if you're on a PC computer, we do have a separate tutorial for Mac users. Um, you will go and search for Chrome. And then I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to open file location. You don't have to use the start bar for that, uh, but that's easiest for me. You're going to find under application this Chrome button here and then all I'm going to do is right click. I'm going to send to desktop to create a shortcut. And now that's that's done, I'm going to close this and you'll see this here. I'm going to rename this to mascotly and then all you need to do is right click, go to properties and copy in the written tutorials there's on step number five there is this short line of code here unfortunately this is unavoidable and we've tried really hard uh, to skip this step but unfortunately we can't because of some of uh, the restrictions within Chrome so you do is right click copy and then you return back to this pro properties folder for the shortcut that you just made you go to the end and you add in a space bar an empty space and then just paste this line of code and you click apply and OK and what I do is I double click now on this mascotly. We wait for Chrome to open. And then all you can do is create a bookmark for mascotly. And you just grab it like that. And then just open up like that. So every time you obviously want to use Mascotly, just click on that bookmark and you're good to go. Just like that. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial video.